Welcome to Amazing World Channel. New policy papers on trade and customs aimed at turning the UK into an independent trading nation make the appeal for suggestions about how ports and the Northern Irish border should work, 18 months before Brexit is due to take effect. Updating MPs following her Brexit speech in Florence last month, Mrs May said real and tangible progress was being made in talks in Brussels. However, she said the government would prepare for a cliff-edge Brexit if a deal could not be reached by March the 2019. While I believe it is profoundly in all our interests for the negotiations to succeed, it is also our responsibility as a government to prepare for every eventuality, so that is exactly what we are doing, the Prime Minister said. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn hit back, saying 16 months on from the referendum, no real progress has been made. Close quote. Drawing attention to splits in the cabinet over the detail of Brexit policy, Mr Corbyn added just at the moment, when Britain needs a strong negotiating team, we have a cabinet at each other's throats. Close quote. Mrs May said the purpose of her Florence speech was to move the negotiations forward, and added that is exactly what has happened. As EU chief negotiator Michel Barnier said after the last round, there is a new dynamic in the negotiations. Close quote. The Prime Minister confirmed that, if a deal is reached with Brussels, that allows for a two year post Brexit transition period, the UK would remain under the authority of the European Court of Justice. Mrs May said the same rules and regulations would apply, and that may mean the ECJ still governing the rules that we part of during that period. The SNP's Westminster leader Ian Blackford said leaving the EU without a Brexit deal would be a catastrophe for Scotland. He said the party had submitted amendments to the EU withdrawal bill that will enact Brexit to ensure continued membership of the EU single market and customs union as a minimum, as well as guaranteeing the rights of EU citizens and stopping a so-called power grab in devolved areas. There were signs of growing pressure from pro-Brexit backbenchers for the Prime Minister to take a harder line on negotiations with the EU. When R. Jenkins accused EU negotiators of dragging their feet and suggested the UK should walk out of talks in Brussels, asking of Mrs May, when does she call time and Jacob rees suggested as a possible Conservative leadership contender, told Sky News that the Prime Minister has gone further than I would have wished her to go in offering a generous and comprehensive deal to the EU.